Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking all about Mae West and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, fashion, and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I started a new Instagram ac account specifically for this channel. I also link that below and please feel free to send me a message on there anytime. All right, let's jump right in and talk about Mae West and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. Mae West was born on August 17th, 1893 and she died on November 22nd, 1980. She was an American actress, singer, playwright, screenwriter, comedian, and sex symbol whose career spanned over seven decades. So she wasn't it wasn't until age 40 that she became a very popular and worked for Paramount and she kind of almost saved Paramount during the Great Depression in the 1930s and she was a very, she was a trailblazer in terms of her like breezy sexual independence and she kind of was a very independent woman and was for women's rights and just kind of being provocative and kind of doing things that weren't really out in the public during that time so she was kind of like ahead of her time that way becoming a sex symbol and a trailblazer she was also very light-hearted and funny and the american film institute named her 15th among the greatest film stars of classic american cinema well, let's talk about mae west and her favorite perfumes so like elizabeth taylor mae west loved the perfume Bal à Versailles. This is a very interesting perfume. Um, it's from 1962. It is an oriental and a floral scent. It is very feminine. It kind of brings me back to the days of Chanel Number no. Five, and it kind of smells like youth do as well. So it is a heavier fragrance, but I quite like it. It's very unique and sophisticated. So this is the first fragrance that Mae West wore and loved. The second fragrance that Mae West loved was Joy by Jean Pateau. I might be butchering that pronunciation, so my bad if I am. Um, this one was also worn by Jackie Kennedy, so this is a very popular fragrance back in the day. It actually started in 1929, and this perfume is very sophisticated and is considered one of the greatest fragrances in the floral genre of perfumery and it was created by a Parisian perfumer. Joy is compromised primarily of ja jasmine and rose and contains 10,000 jasmine flowers and 20 dozen roses are required to create just 30 milliliters of perfume. So it's very potent and pure and that is why it's a little bit pricey. And it's a very beautiful fragrance. It definitely, I can smell the roses as well as the jasmine, but it's very fresh and it, it does have a modern scent to it, but I can see how it's vintage. It's not as musky as other vintage perfumes. I quite like this one in terms of being very fresh and pure. In terms of makeup, Mae West was a huge fan of Max Factor, like many old Hollywood movie stars during this time period and she loved the Max Factor Cream Puff. So I have the modern day version here as well as a vintage one. I believe this one is most likely from the 1950s. This Max Factor, obviously, isn't it beautiful? The original, this powder has been, the Max Factor Cream Puff Press Powder has been around since 1953, and you can still buy it today. Also loved Revlon and had many shades of Revlon. In her estate, there was the Revlon Strawberry Vanilla Lipstick Color. This is shade 93. I found it online. I need to do a little more research to see if you can still buy it, but I did find a website that sold it. I wasn't able to find it in any stores where I live, but I did find the Revlon Stormy Pink, which was a popular shade in the 50s as well, and I think it probably matches up fairly similar to the Strawberry Vanilla Lipstick, so if any of you guys have tried Revlon Strawberry Vanilla in shade 93, let me know. I'm super curious, but she did love Revlon. And she also loved the designer Scaparelli. 
and she was a surrealist de designer who was popular in the 1930s and this perfume bottle was actually created based off of Mae West's very like hourglass figure so this is a perfume that was designed and inspired by Mae West and Mae West actually wore the perfume so as you can see the torso kind of reminds me of Mae West and she loved that perfume and that perfume that she wore it was shocking and it was from 1936. And Mae West had a few beauty secrets. She loved to wear a Vaseline on her eyelids. So she would wear a dark gray eyeshadow and then put Vaseline on top um, to kind of give that like shimmery look on camera. So that was very popular for her. And a lot of other old Hollywood actresses did use Vaseline. Even Marilyn Monroe used Vaseline. The thing is, now coconut oil is very popular for people to use on their skin, but Mae West wore coconut oil all over her skin, and it was a way to kind of keep her youthful complexion, and she maintained that for decades just by using coconut oil. She used it all over her arms, her legs, her body, and it kind of gave her skin a youthful glow. Mae West also had the Max Factor Pan Stick Foundation, as you can see in her estate. So it goes to show that she was a very, an avid user of Max Factor and loved Max Factor. Got these beautiful earrings designed after Mae West. And this is from my friend's store, Mir Mir Bijou. And I love these earrings, they're beautiful. I love how long they are and they just give such a beautiful touch of glamour. So I linked all those below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products? And what do you think of Mae West? Have you seen any of her movies? And if so, do you have a favorite? All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.